Hello, hello! What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by today. I am so happy that you are here. Today we are going to make another DIY which is a um, kind of like a rustic farmhouse DIY kind of something like that but anyway um, if you don't know if you're new to my channel and if you don't know me my name is Shasha SJ and I love to craft anything from the Dollar Tree Goodwill Walmart and anything that can be recycled and I also sell jewelry and it should be down at the description down below which I put the links from my Poshmark closet or on my Mercari so today the one that I have right now this is super super awesome and beautiful this is a vintage look how gorgeous that is and beautiful check this out on my Poshmark closet or on my Mercury and if the price is just a little bit higher for you you can always give me an offer and we will work it out all right so check them out on my Poshmark closet but anyway let's get started in our DIY of today <laughs> From my stash, I got a paint. I have two colors, which is the this color and this color. I got this from Walmart. A scissors, if you need a scissors, a paintbrush, and a magazine. Because we are going to paint today. So that's from my stash. From Walmart, I know. Ooh, I should be very, I should be very, very careful in this one. This one, I got this from Walmart. And yeah, you can find this. You can even find this at the dollar store. They have this at the dollar store. A letters, monogram one, which is, I can't remember how much is this. I'm pretty sure I paid only twenty cents. I can't remember, but it's just below $5. So that's what I got from Walmart. And now we are going to grab from our Dollar Tree. And I got this one from the Dollar Tree. Yes, remember this when this one comes out? Super, super fast. And it's going wild and it's all gone. And imagine guys, I went over there and I only have three left. What would you do if you only have three left and there's something in your mind that you want to do something but I guess it's for but I guess it's for the better. So then you can go out to your own box and make your own design, right? And I grab this uh, magnetic picture frame plastic ones. So it's a magnetic photo frame. I grabbed this from the Dollar Tree as well. And that's what I got. So let's get into this. Here we come. Okay, so first of what I'm going to do is I am going to paint this. This one is already beautiful, but I want to add my flavor. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to grab this one in here. And I will try to remove this. I wish I had those some some things that I can remove this see this piece down here but I don't have those so I'm just gonna leave this back plain so I'm just going to paint this and I will try to paint the side as well even though this could be smudging with paint that's okay All right so now I'm just going to start painting this love Word. Okay, so stay with me. Thank you. 
All right, so there you go. I halfway almost three fourths of it is painted. I meant to do it that way so I have something to hold on to when I'm painting the edges or the, you know, those grooves of the love word. So I'm going to continue painting the rest of the three love word down here and stay with me, okay? Right now I'm just trying to wait until they are all dry. And next we are going to work on to our the letter R letter. The R letter. <laughs> so I'm just going to paint this one the same way with our word love. So bear with me, okay? All right, so right now I am just going to remove this tag down here. And all I have is this pokey tool. And if you have some specific one that we can take or remove this thing, let me know because I don't have those kind of tool. Maybe one day I might have to get one, but this is what I do right now. Just use my pliers and use my pokey tool so I can remove this staple wires in this wood. So I am going to remove all the staple wire in this wood material and bear with me, okay? guys so the word love painted one is already done and dry and this is just looking super super plain so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to dip my paintbrush in this black paint and I'm going to paint the edges down there just like that to create a looking farmhouse color Alright, so there you go. They look super cool and looking rustic farmhouse color. Alright, and I'm going to do the rest. Alright, there you go. They are all dry. And right now is I am going to glue this together just like so. Like that. And I forgot to mention that you need a glue gun. So, I am just going to glue this like so. Next is I am going to attach this one. In here. All right, so since it's open and taken out in that bag, we are going to remove this and make sure that the opener of the where you put the photo slide should be on the top and it should be in the bottom and since the one that I have is magnetic I will make sure that the mag magnet should be facing inside all right so I am just going to glue this in here all right so they are all glued and they are all intact as these. Look how pretty that is. We have a nice vase going on in here which it says love. And you can even make it side view just like so. And after that, I'm going to slide this photo. This is our baby Ella when she was a baby. But 
she's not with us anymore so I'm just going to slide the photo here and I have this um, from the Dollar Tree you know those 3d looking butterfly I have this from the Dollar Tree How cute is that? It says, if memories were a kind of feelings, I wish all your memories to be sweet. That is super cool. And there you go. We just created an awesome craft vase holder. All right, so that is super cute. And I will show you the closer look later. But first, we are going to finish our monogram letter R. All right, so all of my letters are already done painted and I just and I decided to paint the edges as well just like my love word and I just painted the whole thing and of course I decided to paint the back as well. If you have something that is square or a wood that is square, you can do that and I am going to glue this all together like so. And I'm going to start gluing this together like that so they are steady in there. Okay. And, oops, sorry. I'm just going to put a glue in here and another glue on that area. And I will aim to that end to end. Just want to make sure that it is the same flat in this area. So they are even there you go it is done and they are very steady all right i think that's it we did an awesome job of our diy or project of today thank you guys for watching shasha sj by the way i got this one from the dollar tree you can get them in there and yes thank you guys for watching shasha sj i'm going to show you the closer look of this diy that we did of today and the other one and yeah if you love the item on my pushmark closet but not the price make me an offer and we will work it out all right so i think that's it go check this one out in there this is super super awesome vintage item so yeah thank you guys for watching shasha sj see you next time you have an awesome day bye